Hello everyone, it's Roger here again with yet another vacuum review. We've already seen the unboxing of this particular beauty, but today I'm going to give you a little rundown of its performance, its features, and how it floats on a cushion of air. This is the iconic, very stylish, very different Maytag satellite vacuum cleaner based on the famous Hoover Constellation which I believe was launched sometime in the 1950s. So the design, although isn't new, it has been updated for the modern world, although sadly this machine is no more, certainly in the UK under the Maytag brand. It didn't last very long. But currently, at the time of making this video in June 2013, you can buy this on ebay.co.uk for around £80. There's one particular seller who seems to have a few of them. Don't know how many he's got. I've bought two off him, and I know there's some collectors that have bought some. So currently I think he still is selling them. So it's your chance to snap one of these bad boys up. The only disadvantage with this machine is the dust bags. They cost about £15 for two. And I've yet been able to source uh, a cheaper bag whether a bag that fits another vacuum cleaner. So, amongst my travels, I will be trying to find a cheaper alternative bag for this. But anyway, so here it is. It's an all stainless steel construction. Well, the main body is. The skirt is made of a very tough plastic. And there's a, a very thick rubberized buffer all around the outside of the machine. That protects the machine and your furniture. Something that is very important because when this machine's going, it just follows you extremely easily and it does tend to bump, bump into things. So without any further ado, I'll just take you through the machine and then we'll see it in action. So this is the cleaner and everything that you get in the box. You get a dedicated hard floor tool for laminate and parquet and other hard floors with uh, some real natural brushes I think they're horsehair you also get this air powered turbo nozzle for your carpet cleaning you get a telescopic extension tube that's fully adjustable just by pressing on that you can adjust it down for storage and any other position you want in between whichever position is most suitable for you you can just adjust like that we have tools on board you don't have to have them on board they fit in two places they fit on the machine itself or you can fit them to the handle uh, the extension tube you get a soft dusting brush crevice tool and a dual purpose upholstery tool with a removable brush so this little caddy does lift off Oops a daisy, let me just grab it. That's it. The whole caddy comes off and you can actually, if you don't want it on the body of the machine, it will fit here on this little bracket. That's it, let's just put it around the right way. And it will go onto there. Oh, that's it, come on. Most awkward when you... Oh, it's running away from me. Love and thing. Pardon my French, now then. So anyway, it does fit on. But obviously, it helps to have two hands free. Oh, there we go. So you can have the tools always at hand. But um, I prefer to leave them off. I don't like them spoiling either the looks of the machine or that looks a, this looks a bit messy to me. So... I tend to remove those. Onto the cleaner itself, where we have a stretch hose that is designed to reach up a standard flight of stairs, but we'll uh, check that, see if that is the case. The hose is a twist fitting, so you just pop it in, twist it down, and it locks securely in place. You've got a large, comfortable carry handle. The machine's quite light despite the fact it's all metal. 
This is a little parking bracket. It has two functions. You can use it to just park. I can get it in, hang on. The tube. The tube will just go into here. That's it. So you can just park the tube on there if you want to. It also helps to store the hose when you're not using the cleaner. So to store the hose, put the hose back on. And we remove the tube. And basically you can wrap the hose around the base of the machine like that and just store the hand grip on there and obviously you have to store the tube, the extension tube and the other nozzles separately. So that's that. You also have um, a metal catch here. Just release that to gain access to the dust bag which is non-reusable. It's a HEPA bag. Like I say these bags are quite expensive. You only get two in the pack. But it's a fairly simple sort of design so I'm thinking I will be able to find something else of another make that will fit this uh, much cheaper. Underneath the bag we've got a filter which is easy to replace. Again I'm not sure about spare parts being widely available for this machine in the UK but I'm sure I'd be able to get a filter that will fit there or at least a larger filter that I can cut to fit. So the bags just slot into there, push it down, you've got a rubber seal on the bag, there's also a seal here on the machine itself. So when you close the cover of the cleaner, it should in theory keep all the dust in the bag. You've got on off switch there for retro styling, you can operate that with your foot. Underneath, that's where the air exhausts out of the machine, which causes it to float. And I'll just quickly show you it floating, show you some of the power when you switch it on. If I don't have the hose on, it should do a little dance for me. And it has a soft start motor, so it'll start off slow and then it'll, it'll suddenly ramp up to full speed. So it's a 2000 watt motor, but it's not noisy. It's quite, quite pleasant sounding. So there we have the overview. Let's give it a little glide around the room, just see how easily it follows me.
So there we have the Maytag Satellite Floating Vacuum Cleaner. A classic 50s design brought up to modern day standards. An excellent machine if you can get hold of one. The bags are expensive and hard to get hold of, that's the only trouble with this machine. And the hose is a tad on the short side, it could do with being a bit longer. But apart from that, it's a lovely machine for anyone really who, who collects vacuum cleaners or just wants something that's just a little bit different from the cleaners you can buy now. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief demo of the Maytag satellite. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos on floor care products, reviews, unboxings and all sorts besides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.